A very special good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Big Stone Television. It is with deepest of regrets that I have to announce the passing of Noel Brownie, the Brownie Bunch. Noel passed away in Wolverhampton in England on the 17th of September. Today there is an article in the Gleaner talking about the greatness of Noel Brownie. Now, I wanted some footage to show the world of what a great, great icon looked like. So after reading the Gleaner, I noticed Special K was the last person on earth to have a fantastic sit down with Noel Brownie in England. So I reached out to Special K, my friend, and I uh, asked her for permission to use this footage. And you know how it is with myself and the Queen, I called her. She readily agreed and said, Big Stone, you're the king of Jamaica. Anything for you. So Special K, I want to thank you very, very much for this beautiful historical piece of footage of you having a one-on-one -on -one chat with the legendary, the iconic, Noel Brown. Now take a look. So it's your girl Special K and as I mentioned, it is going to be a very interesting day for me. My first day out in the UK, I'm enjoying, I really am enjoying. And I'm here again. Um, We're in Bilston. Bilston. In the West Midlands. In West Midlands. Yes, and I'm sitting beside a legend right here, guys. A legend. And I just want to get into it. I wanted to just really meet this guy because he is super important in the world of music and entertainment. I just want to jump right into it and let him introduce some more about himself, who he is, and just give you a brief about what he is. Mr. Yeah. Brown, it's a pleasure. Just right. tell everybody who you okay. are and a little bit about. I'm Noel Brownie. I'm one of the five Brownie brothers. Um, the eldest is Glenn, then Dalton, who sadly passed two years ago, then myself, then Clevey, who is known as Stelian Clevey, and Danny Brown in Main Street is my youngest brother. But um, I, I want to add to this that uh, my mother was interviewed yesterday by a, a journalist from the UK. Here, and it brought the, what he was interview, um, interviewing her about was actually that we are five generations of musicians. The youngest now being my brother Glenn's grandson is now officially the bass player for Taurus Riley. If Glenn was a bass player before, he, Glenn has retired from that. So it's five generations now of brownies doing music. Um, uh, so, you know, that is where we're, where, where, um, we have become another, there's another thing to the brownie family now. It's a, the, the generations, you know, it seems, it seems so it will continue. Oh, okay. you know? And you're a record producer. I am a record producer and has been for many, many years. My first actual studio that I built was New Name Music in 1987. I started that one. But we, as the Brownies, we started out um, first, uh, we, we, we could play instruments and all that for many years, but in 1970, we started out as a group called the Brownie Bunch. With all five of us singing, and we did a number of songs, we had a number of signings. The last time my mother mentioned to me that she still has a letter when she had to sign on behalf of some of us because we were underage, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we started out young and here yes, you are yes. today. Interesting, right. very interesting. So we went, on through, we went on through many, we played with many groups many and groups. affiliated with many acts that are now popular acts. Oh, just yeah? to name a few, give us a few of okay. some wait, of the wait, wait, artists wait. you produce or their Okay, music. going back to in the, in the early days, um, we became eventually Studio One Band. Trebles were oh, part okay. of Studio One Band, yes. which um, Cox is one who named us because we were playing over a lot of things. Yeah. And I don't know if this is appropriate to talk about, but there was a time when Cox needed to step, step up his game as Studio One yeah. and, and make the music bigger because oh, other okay. studios started to come out, yeah. like Channel One and those, and they sounded really big yeah. compared to Mr. Dad's studio because it was, you know, it was um, going on for some time okay. and with modern equipment. So he put together Studio One Band to remake a lot of the songs 
sounding a little bit better. better. So we started out um, a studio band and we toured with one particular artist that was with Studio One since he was nine. It's Freddie McGregor. Yes, he actually was in Studio One from the Carindonians yes. and Freddie and us, we've been together for all these years, from 1970 all the way up. Freddie, we're always um, part of Freddie McGregor yeah. and part of his production for many right. years. Um, and it turned out now that one of my um, later ventures after the many years of Freddie's, I yeah. built Big Ship Studio. I built the studio, physically built the studio physically. and produced a, a lot of you know Freddie's music. But Freddie started off with my brother Dalton with a band called the Generation Gap, where oh. Freddie was the singer in the band. Yeah. And Dalton, the one that my brother passed, he was older than me. Wow. A job well done, Special K. Now ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna dig deeper into who this icon is. And the Green Company today, October 25th, remembers this icon. Let's take a read and listen. Remembering producer Noel Browning, a musical genius who was generous with his time and skills. Veteran producer Noel Cristano Browning, a member of the 70s sibling group, the Brownie Bunch, which included his brother Glenn, Danny, Cleavy, and the late Dalton, will be laid to rest on Friday, October 28th, in the United Kingdom. Noel, who has worked with reggae greats such as Freddie McGregor, Dennis Brown, and Gregory Isaacs, migrated to the UK nearly two decades ago, where he continued to produce beats for numerous reggae dancehall and Afrobeat artists. Prior to his passing, he had been working on a project with UK rebel singer Cornell Sunbeam Campbell. I worked with him right up until the very night before he passed away. Noel was recording some great new songs for my album, which he was excited about, Sunbeam Toll, The Gleaner. He was a musical genius and generous with his time and skills. He was always willing to pass on his technical knowledge and vast experience in the business to anyone who was interested in listening. In 2017, Noel released two songs for Sunbeam, Plastic Smile and Freedom, both of which received major airplay in Europe. The two were also working on a business collaboration, merging their skills in a company called McTaklin Music Entertainment. Speaking about his personal and professional relationship with Noel, Sunbeam shared and measured a great man by the number of people he has touched and Noel has done this with so many. In fact, he recently acquired the name Mr. Beats from the local young UK grime and Afrobeat artists. Partly because he always knew how to create a vibe in the studio, no matter the day or time. His passing has left a huge void in my musical career as well as personal life. I now grieve for great friend, mentor and big brother, he said. New York based TV host K, Special K Frit, said she met Noel this past summer at his studio in Wolverhampton, England. I was the last person to interview him, the social media influencer disclosed. His knowledge about musical instruments, production and overall reggae culture was unmatched. He shared a lot of interesting stories about his journey in the industry of himself and his brothers. They started out at such a young age 
that his mom had to sign documents on their behalf. The Green also spoke with Freddie McGregor, whose association with Noel goes back decades. I have a very long history with Noel and the entire Brownie family. He was like a brother McGregor shared. Noel and his late brother Dalton work on all of Freddie's Jamaican classics albums. Great musician, I don't think the world got a chance to understand the greatness of Noel Brownie. The way Noel is great, I am convinced if he really took it seriously, he would have been like Quincy Jones, he opined. Noel played at Big Ship Studio in the early years and was integral to the studio in terms of design. We built the studio from scratch. At the time, I was on tour with Reggae Sunsplash. As I got paid each week, I would send money to Noel to take care of the construction while I worked and bought equipment and everything else. When it was completed, he was in charge of running Big Ship McGregor shared. The Bush Come to Shove singer spoke passionately about Noel's interaction with his children. The whole of my youths, Stephen, Shima and Chino, them cut up about Noel's death right now because they all loved him so much. Noel was the one who helped to groom them into what they have become today, especially Stephen who understudied him. Noel put a lot of time and effort into him. One time he unplugged all the equipment in the studio and told Stephen, if you put it back together and make it work, from tonight you are in charge of the studio. Stephen went to work putting things together and when Noel turned things on and pushed up the volume, everything worked. The rest is history, he said. Noel Browning, 65 years old, died in Wolverhampton, England, Jamaica. At this time it is with my deepest of condolences that I have to announce the passing of such a great icon, a legend, a man who was the master in his time, a group of brothers who could have been anything else but great. But guess what? Mama was there as the founding mother who groomed them into becoming the greatness of who they are and what they have become. My heartfelt condolences to you and to every single member that is still standing of the Brownie family. I understand your pain. I know there's not much I can say to bring back your loved one. But let me tell you this. He has done the work. He came, he saw, and he definitely conquered. And he has left the legacy, not just in his music, but his personality, his teaching, and just being plain Noel Brownie. What a man, what a man, what a man. And I just want to thank you, Special K, because there's something about you that is intertwined with me. I respect and honor our icon, likewise yourself. And if it has not been for you, this great piece of footage that we share to the world will never be seen. Tomorrow is not promised to no one. Time is of the essence. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Please like and share this video. Please, if you have not yet subscribed to Big Stone Television, well now is the time to do so. Thank you so much for watching.